Hey, it is that time at Dallas Cowboys training camp. Our yearly visit with longtime owner Mr. Jerry Jones of your Dallas Cowboys. There's our man Nate Ryan. Nate, it's time to wrap your time in Oxnard with a great visit with Mr. Jerry J tonight, sir. Yeah, Vinny, saving the best for last. Forget about retiring when you're 65. Jerry Jones is 80 years old, but when you own the richest franchise in North American sports, those rules do not apply. Jerry Jones purchased the Cowboys in 1989 for $140 million. Today, they're the richest franchise in sports. $8 billion are the Dallas Cowboys. The constant through all those years, Jerry calling the shots from the booth. Look, love him or hate him, the confidence from Jerry Jones never wavers. Here's what drives him. We've got a team that can compete for the top. <laughs> top spot. Jerry, you're still so involved in day-to-day -day operations on the field, uh, in the press box. How much longer do you think you can keep going at this? Well, I don't have an end in sight, uh, but uh, it's because it's a life of its own with me. Now, uh, this is dicey in that you have quite a challenge winning because of the competition, which is what makes it so good. And so uh, the big question would be, am I deterred uh, or any more deterred than I was the day I bought the team in 1989? And the answer is not at all. Uh, I actually feel better about being able to win a championship than I did in 89. You've already got the three Super Bowls. What do you have left to prove? Oh, we need to uh, win, uh, not left to prove, because uh, uh, this Super Bowl effort, the competitive effort, is a fresh deal. So each effort, each season, is a life of its own. And I've always looked at it like that. Uh, I've appreciated if we've had success but not relied on that at all because it's a different game, it's a different series, and that's what makes the game so great. So you gotta, you've got to wake up and you've got to begin life over each year. Uh, when you talk about proving things, is there a difference between the Cowboys have something to prove and Jerry Jones has something to prove? Well, I think so. The team, uh, while it's a constant Dallas Cowboy team, it's made up of evolving individuals and uh, you got to bring out the best way that particular group's talent can win the championship. And so there's no cookie cutter here. There's no commonness, really. Uh, there is hard work and really, if you will, the real thing. Walk in a class in a school, go into a business class and pick out the next millionaire. Try to find him in school. He's hard to find. As a matter of fact, there's a good chance he dropped out and he's not even in there. And so it's hard to find out whether that's inside an individual or, if you will, in the makeup of a team until you put it on the line. Do these late game dramatics, do you ever worry how they affect your health in any way? Well, I think that uh, I'm pretty healthy. Uh, and, I would agree. Uh, and um, uh, I'm 80 and I'm not going to let the old man in. He ain't coming in. And so uh, I, I feel pretty good. I can still walk across Texas with the best of them, so uh, here we go. Yeah, from our vantage point, Jerry, Jerry Jones still walking around at the training facility, each practice making a lot of noise. Those guys over there are as well, too. Jerry Jones, 80 years old as he's entering another season of Cowboys football. You talk about making a million dollars. Who makes the millionaires, right? Sounds like you don't need to go to business school. That was the economics lesson I got from one of the most successful businessmen in America, Vinny. But that concludes our trip to California. From the pier to the boulevard, the whole time, the Dallas Cowboys front and center. I tell you, it's interesting, Nate. Uh, Jerry is like 50 some odd years older than you. This is amazing. I just can't get that out of my head. But I'll, again, uh, you. I, I really, it was like I was talking to my grandfather up there. It was very kind of like, uh, it, it felt like one of those kind of vibes, like the look he was giving me in his eyes. A father eyes. figure. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, you and Probably, sports photographer. Honestly, photog yeah. Yeah, you and sports very, photog, Jason cool. Eggleston, great job this week. Solid effort. Get some sleep, travel safe, and we'll see you back here safe and sound in the great city of San Antonio.